Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another vlog. I say another vlog. Welcome back to a new vlog. I have not vlogged in such a long time. It feels weird, like, chatting to... It feels weird vlogging again. It's been... I don't think when my last vlog would have been. I feel like my due date was the 5th of October, and I definitely stopped about a week, at least a week before then. So we're looking at back at September time. So it, it's been... It's been a hot minute. Um, but... I'm back vlogging again and I have missed it so much. I've really missed like just chatting and chilled and like just, yeah, just been a, been a while. So today, I, I mean, I really didn't know how to get back into the swing of things, but I thought we'd just get back into it. And today I am off out in a minute. Lottie and I are off out because she has got her checkup. So we've got, first of all, she's got a doctor's six to eight week, like G, GP checkup. Obviously I won't be vlogging in there. Um, can you imagine that? I'm like, well, can I just film this? <laughs> um, she's got a six to eight week GP checkup, and so have I at the same time. We're both booked in, so I think that's just to kind of check how we're both doing. Obviously, she'll have, a, have her health checks, and I'll have probably just they, I think they check more with mum how I'm doing mentally. There's te there tends to be what I, they ask me every time I speak to like a health visitor or a midwife. midwife. <laughs> But anyway, so we've got those, and then after that we're going straight over to see a health visitor, and she's booked in for a six to eight week health visitor checkup as well. So I guess kind of the same sort of things. Um, they do tend to like repeat the same kind of questions, but obviously it's good to get her checked up because she hasn't been weighed since she was five days old. So obviously she, they weigh you, they weigh her when she was born, and she was seven thirteen. I think I've already mentioned she was 7.13 when she was born and then at five days they waited her again and she was still 7.13 which was great that she hadn't because I think babies usually lose a little bit of weight to start with um, but she'd been straight on the boob and straight guzzling down the milk so luckily she hadn't lost weight to start with so I don't know what she'll be now but I'm excited to find out um, and yeah just good to get some little checkups so that is where we're off to now um, I am just having a little breakfast smoothie that looks rather unappetizing but it actually is it's actually quite nice to be fair i think it's just this color because i've put some like frozen spinach in there it's got frozen spinach blueberries orange juice ginger and chia seeds so not as not as bad as some smoothies i've made in the past this is actually quite a nice one i'm trying to get some I'm trying to make sure i get my five a day obviously when i'm breastfeeding i'm trying to make sure i'm getting enough vitamins in me so breakfast smoothie and um yeah then we're heading out and then this afternoon i thought i'd just kind of like i've got a few bits um that i want to show you i've done an order from abercrombie and fitch so i've got some some new kind of like wintry outfits that i want to show you well wintry pieces that i thought i'd show you um so i'll do that when i get back from the appointments <laughs> hello my gorgeous girl are you awake are you ready to go can we see your little outfit today can we have a little look at your outfit? Look at that! Oh, look at that! How cute is this little baby grow? Oh, it's like a little wrap over style, it's like knitted. It's so cute. Love that. Come on then, gorgeous girl, let's go. And then this is my very cosy outfit today. So I've got on this coat from Varley. I say coat, it's kind of like a like a sort of teddy fleecy jacket. It's so cozy and warm. Um, I've been loving this recently. So this is from Varley. And then underneath I've got on a little cream jumper from And Other Stories. My leggings are, I think they're Lululemon. They're either Sweaty Betty or Lululemon. I think these are my Lululemon ones. Where does it say? No, actually these are, I mean, I'll check. I'll check and I'll leave them linked. But either way, I love either, like, I live in either my Sweaty Betty or my Lululemon leggings. They're both pretty similar. Um, and then Adenola socks, Adidas trainers, and that is it. I haven't actually popped any earrings in yet, so I need to put some earrings in. Why does my hair look like it's like got like a white patch? I think it must be the light. <laughs> either that or I'm going grey after having baby. <laughs> Yeah, I think it is the light. It's got like a halo about it. Um, so yeah, that is my cosy outfit of the day. And we better get going because it's probably going to take me about half an hour to get everything in the car and get Lottie in the car. And it's not just a matter of just getting yourself out these days. <laughs> it's getting used to getting everything out as well. <laughs> I literally, I sat down for a second and he's straight up here and snuggled into my lap. Like I cannot sit down for during the day. If, I'm, if I sit on the sofa, before I know it, I'm... 
my bottom hasn't even touched the sofa and he's up and on my lap. <laughs> Um, but we've just got back from our appointments and all went well. They are happy with her. The doctor did all like, the checks of um, Lottie's hips and her mat looked in her mouth, ears, eyes. I think, well, I think they did that. Everything basically and all is good. The only thing they said is, well, they weighed her and she is 10 pound two ounces. And they said that that's slightly, like ever so slightly lower than kind of her growth chart should be but nothing to worry about, just ever so slightly, ever so slightly lower. Um, but then actually when I saw the health visitor afterwards, I told, I told them what her weight was and apparently she said that, that she sees it. She pulled up the growth chart and she showed me, she said, actually, I don't see it as too low. It's basically still following the chart on. So we're all good. We're all happy. And she's feeding fine and she's, you can see she looks, well, I, I feel like she looks sort of healthy, like she's putting on weight. So no concerns there so yeah all went well so i'm gonna have some lunch quickly and then i will show you the abercrombie bits okay so first up from abercrombie are these washed black jeans and i've actually got a similar pair to these in a cropped length they're not from abercrombie i've had them for a few years and i wear them a lot but i can only really wear them in autumn with like loafers or trainers because they are cropped i wanted a full length straight leg pair in this kind of washed black denim um, and Abercromb Abercrombie jeans are just the best fit. They're so flattering. They fit so nicely on the waist. I'm wearing these in a waist 26 and they fit me perfectly on the waist. They fit really nicely on the back as well. I haven't got a gape, like a gap at the back, which I sometimes get. These are the Curve Love range as well. So they fit so well on the waist, perfect length on me as well. Um, and yeah, just a great pair of jeans. And this style come in so many different washes as well and different lengths. You can get short, tall or regular. Um, so yeah, happy with these, really lovely pair of jeans. Okay, next up is this gray bomber jacket. And I feel like I'm seeing lots of people styling up bomber jackets over on Instagram at the moment. I love how they look. I feel like it's like a quite cool kind of effortless look. Um, and Abercrombie have got some really nice ones and I spotted this and also they do the same one in cream as well. So I've ordered both. You'll have to let me know which one you prefer. I think, I think I'm probably more of a cream person, but I also thought that this gray would be really wearable. So I will try on the cream afterwards and you can let me know which one you think is nicer. I'm wearing this in a size small and it's a slightly oversized kind of boxy fit, which I think fits me perfectly in the small. I like how it looks just with these black jeans as well. Quite an easy kind of, like I said, like an easy effortless look. And the fabric feels nice and soft as well. Really nice quality. And then this is the cream one. So it's exactly the same style, but the fabric is slightly different. This is in kind of like a, can you see? It's almost like a textured, slightly like a boucle fabric, whereas the gray one was more of like a smooth fabric. So I do really like the texture of the cream one. And obviously I am a cream lover. It's like my go-to winter color. I'd probably wear it more with blue jeans. I think the cream would work really well with blue jeans. Although I do think it does still work with the washed black denim as well. Um, and it feels nice and warm and cozy as well. Let me know what you think. Do we prefer the cream or the gray? I think I'd probably get more aware of the cream. But I did love the gray as well. Let me know. Next up is this gorgeous cardigan and I love this. It feels so soft and comfortable on, but it's also got that quite chic, slightly smarter look as well. I think I might actually wear this on Boxing Day because we usually go over to Lou's parents on Boxing Day and you want something that looks nice but also feels cosy. And I feel like this is the perfect mix. It does also come in, I think it comes in black, navy and like a lovely kind of beigey brown colour as well but I just thought this was so classic and just one of those pieces that I would wear again and again and I've just popped it on with a pair of jeans actually these I've had for a while I got these I think last year it must have been last year because I haven't had them since I've been pregnant so I got these last year or at the beginning of this year um, they are also from Abercrombie and these are more of a mid-rise which are really nice really nice fit I've just popped them on and they feel so comfortable on, really flattering. I like, I quite like the way they dip down a little bit at the front. Um, and again, really nice fit at the back as well. I'm not sure if they are still available, but I think they probably will be. 
So I will find out what they're called and I'll leave these linked as well. Next up is this beautiful coat and how gorgeous is this? I think that this has got to be my favorite piece so far. It just feels so warm and cozy on it. It's a wool blend so you can feel it's got like that warmth of the wool but it also has a nice soft feel to it. It's not itchy at all. Um, the colour of it is perfect. I love how it looks with cream and denim, but I, also, I would also wear this over the top of an all black outfit with more of like a full neutral outfit. I think it would be gorgeous. I'm wearing it in a size small and I would say pretty true to size. I think um, if anything, it's a little bit of an oversized fit, but for me, it's perfect in the size small. And I think I actually went for a tall length as well because I wanted it to be a little bit longer. I will double check and leave my size in the description box below, um, but it's just beautiful. It's a slightly masculine finish to it. I like the fact that it's quite simple. It's got no belt detail. It's just got a pocket either side. It is lined as well, and then it's got a pocket on the inside, and it just feels really beautiful quality. I love a neutral coat for autumn, winter anyway, and I feel like this is just the perfect, like, winter white shade as well. Love this. And then the final piece that I ordered from Abercrombie are these grey wide leg trousers. And I actually thought that these would look really nice styled with the grey bomber. So I will pop the bomber on in a second and show you how they look styled together. The only thing I'd say about these is that I ordered them in a regular length. And as you can see, they are just a little bit short on me. I should have gone for the tall length. I'm five foot six for comparison. So I would recommend if you are shorter, if you're taller than me, then definitely go for the tall. But I'd say anything from kind of like five foot five and above, I'd recommend going for the tall length, which I don't usually go for in the denim, but they're just a little bit short. They fit really nicely on the waist. And again, no gap at the back at all. They're a really nice fit. Um, around the back, nice fit on the waist, feel really comfortable um, and quite a nice lightweight fabric as well, they're not too heavy. And then just to quickly show you, this is how they look styled with the bomber jacket. And I'm not actually sure if they do work as an outfit, I think together the tones are just a little bit off. Um, but I thought I'd just quickly show you anyway. And by the way, if you can hear gurgling in the background, Lottie is being very well entertained by my mum. She's not just gurgling away on her own. But that is everything that I ordered from Abercrombie. Let me know in the comments your favourite piece. I think mine's got to be either the coat or the cardigan. I think I'll get a lot of wear out of both of those pieces. Um, but do let me know your favourite piece. Like I said before, everything featured will be linked below in the description box and I'll pop my size next to each item um, for comparison. Let's see what's in today's advent calendar. Where is day 15? 15. Oh, there it is. We have got a frangipani body cream, this cream. I've used this before and it smells amazing. <laughs> Do you like that one? Alexa, pause. Do you like that one? <laughs> We've just popped these, um, her sensory cards in front of her just to give her something to look at and she absolutely loves them. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Alexa, pause. <laughs> Um, yeah, she just loves looking at them. She's been sitting here for ages, just smiling at them. Each one, I kind of, I kind of change them over occasionally. And she's just so content sitting there, just looking at the cards. Are you a happy girl? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Are you a happy girl? Which one are you looking at? Are you have. Oh, it's the rain at the rain. <laughs> she just loves looking at all of them, all of the cards. They just really captivate her. And she's so content just sitting in her little bouncer. Although Raffi, <laughs> the second I'm on the floor, he wants to play. Do you feel left out? Because I'm not giving you any attention. And don't worry, by the way, for the people that think that Raffi is being left out. He is the, he is the least neglected dog there could possibly ever be. He is constantly, whenever I'm feeding, he, I've got her on one side and him on the other, and he is with us at all times, 
and yeah, he is given all the love in the world. So do not worry that this little picky is, pickle is getting left out because there is no such thing. He, yeah, he couldn't have more fuss. <laughs> He is very, very loved, but whenever I'm with her, kind of like if I'm doing the cars with her or changing her or whatever, um, he wants to be, he wants to be there and he wants to be playing and joining in. So he does get, not jealous, but like a little bit like he doesn't want to be left out, but he is so good with Lottie, like, <laughs> are they fun? He's so good with her as well, like he's very gentle and he, he knows how to kind of, yeah, he's, he is good and he'll get better as he gets older as well, won't you, Pickle? He's actually having a groom on Monday. A little tidy up, aren't you? A little tidy up of all this fluff, even though I do love him fluffy. And in the night, when he cuddles into me, I love, I love cuddling into him when he's all soft and fluffy. But he does need a little tidy up because it's so... <laughs> oh, have you had enough now? Or are you still enjoying it? Still enjoying it? Should we change it over? Should we change it? <gasps> What about that one? Do you like that one? Oh no, not that one. We don't like that one, what's that? Oh yeah, well I don't like that one either. That's a bit much, isn't it? What about this one, Lottie? Do you like this one? What's that? Is it a bumblebee? Do you like the bumblebee? Oh, oh no. Have we had enough of them? <laughs> Are we unsure about the bumblebee? I love this bouncer as well. This is the baby born bouncer and it's just so handy. She's so content just sitting in it and looking around. Yay! Yes you are, aren't you gorgeous girl? You are so happy. You are so happy. Hello. 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 It's just coming up to half past three and all of a sudden it just got so dark and dingy and grey outside so I've had to pop on my light in case the lighting looks a bit weird. I can't film anytime after three o'clock these days it just goes so dark so I've had to had to pop my light on so I'm like a little bit it's making my eyes go a bit funny <laughs> um but I was just rocking Lottie off to sleep she's literally this is her Moses basket here and she's just off to sleep right next to me and I was just walking her off to sleep and there was a knock at the door and I had a package arrive and I did open it and then I peeked inside and I thought oh I think we need to vlog that I don't usually vlog PR packages that much anymore like I don't really do many kind of unboxings or anything like that stop being a pickle <laughs> um because I know sometimes it's a little bit like a bit like oh you know you don't want to see all the PR I think sometimes people think it's a bit bit braggy maybe or it's a bit like I don't know you guys don't need to see the things like PR unboxings all the time I do the odd one but not that often but this one it really did call for it and you'll see why I literally I haven't even looked at it yet I just peeked inside and I was like <gasps> oh look at this it is the biggest box of goodies from Charlotte Tilbury and I literally just looked and was like, oh wow, how exciting. So first of all, look at this. I mean, I cannot believe I have been sent this. I literally, yeah, very, very overwhelmed. But look at this stocking. Charlotte Tilbury, magic gifts for Charlotte. I actually cannot believe I've been sent this. And it is full to the brim of makeup and skincare. Well, I guess makeup and skincare because this looks like magic cream, which I've actually just ran out of one of these as well. So I'm so, because they're expensive. Amazing, but expensive. Um, so I'm very grateful to have been sent this. But I have, re I have purchased this. You've probably seen on my channel before. You've seen me purchase this before. I do think it is worth the money. Um, and then this is the magic water cream, which I haven't actually tried yet. I've seen people raving about the magic water cream. Not tried that. I think... The only thing about that is it makes it sound like, I, I don't know, quite like a thick cream, whereas that makes it sound like it'll be watery. Although I don't think it will be, because I've seen people raving about it. Um, but this is just full of goodies. This is the Pillow Talk gift set. Lip liner, lipstick, cheek, um, the, uh, what's it called? The, you know, like the shimmery cheek blush. 
and then the lip gloss as well the pillow talk lip gloss which i love i mean i actually do feel like this is christmas a palette i know that some of you are going to be watching this thinking oh i don't want to see because i think i'd be the same if i was watching someone else open it in fact i did actually see someone on tiktok who was it I saw someone unboxing one of these on tiktok and i thought oh lucky <laughs> Which is why when I opened this box and I saw the stocking, I was like, oh gosh, that's a, this is a good one. Um, but it is just, just full to the brim of like lip glosses. These are, it's the blush set. I, I actually can't believe it. I feel like I'm definitely going to have to give some of these out as Christmas gifts, aren't I? This is the Serum and Days and Magic Cream set, which I think would be a really lovely Christmas gift. If you've not tried either of those, it's a good little way to try them. And then I've got a blush palette in here. Two blush palettes, actually. A pinkier one and then a brownier one. What's this big box here? Magic cream, yeah, the magic body cream and then the magic cream as a gift set as well. I actually cannot believe the amount of bits that they've sent. Still more. There's still more bits at the bottom. I haven't pulled anything out of the stocking since I was about, well, probably in my teens. But, you know, like getting right to the bottom of the stocking. I've not done that in such a long time. This is a little, oh, so I guess that these can be used as like little baubles hanging on the tree. I mean, that is a very fancy bauble, isn't it? To hang on the tree, but this is a little mini magic cream. How lovely. These would make such nice gifts. And then, last but not least, oh, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. This is such a good setting spray. And there's two in there. They're both the same. No, one's the regular one, and then there's one with white tea of barley. And then it says on here, Chantel Brie will donate £5 to Women for Women International for every... 2023 Christmas stocking sold this year on charlottetelby.com. Okay, I'm going to have a little look at this. It does say scan the QR code to find out more. I'm going to have a little look about this and leave any information in the description box below. But thank you so much, Charlotte Tilbury. So I've just had a quick look on the Charlotte Tilbury website. And basically how it works is you can either buy the stocking on its own for £25 or you can build your own stocking. So you select one product from each category below. So let's go with, let's go with the magic cream for the skincare category. And then for the mesmerising eyes, I'll go with, let's go with the Pillow Talk Luxury Eye Palette. Um, for cheeks, we are, mm, we'll go with Flawless Filter, Hollywood Flawless Filter. And then for lips, I am going to go with, let's go with good old fashioned Pillow Talk Lipstick. And then finishing touches, I will go with the setting spray. So you get 10% off the contents of the stocking and then you get the stocking for free as well, whereas it would usually be £25. So I feel like that would make such a lovely Christmas gift. I'm not sure when delivery is available to. Oh, here we go. For express delivery, order before 9.30 on the 20th of December to receive your parcel in time for Christmas. And then, like I said before, it says here, for every stocking sold, Charlotte Tilbury Beauty will donate £5 to Women for Women International. <laughs> Hello, Lottie. Are you awake? Have you got the hiccups? <laughs> She's got this little lamb here that my sister got her for, from the White Company. Um, and we didn't realise, but the lamb is actually called Lottie Lamb. <laughs> yes, it is. And you're called Lottie as well. And we didn't realise until afterwards, did we, that you've both got the same name. And that's why you love it so much. Your little Lottie Lamb. <laughs> but she just looks at it sometimes and smiles. Don't you? You like looking at little Lottie Lamb? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
God, it looks really dark and dull. Good morning. It is Sunday morning and I'm wrapped up very warm. We are off for a beach walk this morning. We just thought we'd get out and get a bit of fresh air. Um, it, although it was supposed to be sunny and it's gone really, really grey. So hopefully it doesn't rain because I'm not in a waterproof coat. I've got my little Varley coat on again. So I'm not sure how this will fare up in the rain. Um, but yeah, Lou's looking at me as in like, come on. Let's get going. So we're off. He's looking at no, me Rafi's like. looking at me like, come on, mum, let's get going. As Lottie's just fast asleep, has to be as Larry in the back. <laughs> it is a good few hours later now, as you can tell. I'm back home, and <laughs> if you're wondering my hair, why my hair looks crazy i've just popped in a um christoph robin like purifying scalp mask and i thought i would try it out it's supposed to like deep cleanse your scalp before you shampoo conditioner condition it although <laughs> i was just saying to lou i'd left it in the shower for the past like i don't know month or so and i keep meaning to use it but i haven't because usually i get in the shower and then by that point it's too late because you're supposed to leave it in for like five ten um five to fifteen minutes Anyway, I just said to Lou, I was like, I just got it out, expecting it to be like, opened it up, expecting it to be brand new. And it's got all these finger marks in it where Lou's obviously used it thinking it was just some random conditioner. <laughs> um, but anyway, I popped that in to clean my scalp. Um, we had a nice afternoon mooching around. We had a beach walk and then we popped to a couple of shops, but just wasn't really like, yeah, just sort of like mooched around, got a few Christmassy bits, did a food shop. Hi. Yeah. <laughs> I'm needed. Sorry about that. I was needed to feed Lottie and now this hair mask has been in for way over 15 minutes. I feel like it's been closer to 45 minutes. I definitely need to jump in the shower and wash it out because it's gone all like dry. Um, but at least I have a very, very clean scalp. <laughs> Um, but by the time I sort of fed her and burped her and put her down, because she's having a little nap at the moment, it took a little bit longer than expected. But I'm going to jump in the shower. I think I might finish off the vlog here. Lou is currently cooking a roast dinner that smells amazing. So we're going to have a very chilled Sunday evening. I've just cracked open a tub of Quality Street that we got earlier. We popped into B&M. And by the way, if you've got a B&M near you, it's really lovely stockings in there, like stockings and kind of sacks, like Christmas sacks. The sacks are gorgeous because they're, they've got like a faux fur, faux fur top around them. I'll insert a picture. I did take a picture of them because I want to try and get one for Lottie, but they didn't have any of the letter L. So I might try and ring up and see if they have any more that come in this week at some point. Um, but I think they were like, they were so reasonable. They were under £10. And yeah, just really lovely. They look so much more expensive than what they were. So if you live near a b and definitely recommend popping in there. Also, we did get a, um, I picked up like this really cute little dog coat for Rafi as well. Like a little waterproof, like a green kind of tartany waterproof coat. And it is his birthday on Christmas Eve. He is a Christmas baby. So we will be celebrating extra celebrations this Christmas Eve. Um, but anyway, I am gonna jump in the shower. I'm gonna finish off the video here. Sorry I'm finishing it off on such a unattractive note. <laughs> um, but I hope you enjoyed this vlog. And yeah, hopefully we're back into the swing of things now. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you again in my next video. Bye.